Now here's a tasty mixture. Top line chef and fine food teacher Mark Holland from Foodstuff Mona Vale and the brand new Trackaway 700 from Tracker. Together they're going to head up to Byron Bay for some sun, sand and fine food and test out the latest in cooktop technology with the Wabasto diesel cooktop in the Trackaway 700. Here we are in the Tracker Trackaway 700. Um, we've had it for a couple of days now and all I can say is it's bloody fantastic. Using the Wabasco diesel cooktop means your motorhome only needs one fuel source for the journey. Due to the absence of open flames, the diesel cooktop is safe and convenient. With an elegant serene cooking surface, it's easy to clean and also easy to use. But the proof is in the pudding. Why don't we let Mark loose inside the 700's kitchen and see what he comes up with. Over to you, Mark. Hello. First night in our camper van. Oh, it's fantastic, I slept. Amazingly, it was very quiet. If you look out there, that's where we are. Very, very, very quiet, beautiful. Anyway, I'm doing Spanish eggs, frying off some onion, the chorizo. Got some beautiful smoked paprika, a little bit of chili, coriander, and then I'm going to just drop some eggs into it and serve them in the pan. Red wine. See, even, even my olive oil has to be in a wine bottle. Bye. Uh, I put that on the, the hot end of the saran. So we've got these lamb burgers. I'm going to put some tzatziki and some spinach on there. You can put the buns on here and you can get the buns on the edge and they'll toast. So as you can see, burgers. And we can brown the buns as well. Beautiful lamb tzatziki spinach burgers. We've just we had this in the fridge. There wasn't a plan for a menu. Um, it was just pull out what we've got and what things go together. Onions, garlic, pork, and I've got some white wine. We've got some mustard. A tin of peppercorns. Forgot. We've got some leeks. So we could put some leeks in there as well. This pork is about an inch in old money thick. So it's going to take about 20 minutes. Potato is just going to slice. Same with the onions. Just a quick slice. Strip the rosemary off. Yeah, your oils up to temperature. It's where we've nearly got it all into the pan. You can hear it's just sizzling away nice and slowly. Liquid's just starting to bubble away. And this is the point where we're just going to put the foil on and just leave it alone. We've got the most delicious Bangalow sweet pork or any pork. You can do this not just with pork, you can do it with lamb, you can do it with a bit of beef, chicken even, whatever. Mm -hmm. 